beginning of 2002, a new currency, the euro, was launched. It had taken 10 years to organise. The new money was to serve as a common currency for the nations of the European Union, but things were not straightforward. A number of prominent European Union countries opted not to adopt the euro, among them the UK, Sweden, Denmark and the Czech Republic. Currently, 19 countries use the euro as their collective currency, and these are known as the Eurozone. At its introduction, the euro replaced 11 different national currencies. Many of these came into use with the rise of the nation states across Europe, and had been in circulation for little more than a century. But there was one major exception. Greece's currency, the drachma, was one of the world's oldest monetary units. It had been in use for more than 2,000 years. This clay pot, unearthed at the Acropolis, contained drachmas from the time of Pericles, and historical references to the drachma first emerged 3,000 years ago. Greeks were sentimental about the replacement of the drachma with the euro. The United Kingdom was too attached to its pound and remains outside the Eurozone, even though it has been a member of the European Union since 1973. Germany had no qualms about parting with the Deutschmark, and vast amounts of the defunct currency were burned at the time of the conversion to the Euro. Although the very strong mark had served as a reserve currency, Germans were convinced that great benefits would flow from the introduction of the common currency. Today, the euro is used by more than 320 million people, with around 790 billion euros circulating as hard cash.